Hello, hello, people. This is Silver Leaf here on 9055 back again with another deck profile for you guys today. And as you guys can clearly see, we got the EV Evolution board out, which means the deck I'm going to be showcasing you guys today, my friends, is Umbreon GX. Yep, I have updated the deck once again. And now I'm going to be showcasing you guys what I've done to the deck, my changes that I'm making, and also future updates. And also today, for those of you who don't know, which I'm be surprised if they don't, today is the day Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon comes out. So I'm going to be showcasing you guys a live stream out there so you guys can see me get the game, look at all the product in there. Then I'm also going to be visiting a Walmart and stuff like that so I can get me some product and also so then I can get me some stuff for my videos so I can make them better quality for you guys. So without further ado, I'm going to be showcasing you guys this deck. So starting out, we're starting with our four Eevee. We're going to be running four, of course, because we also are going to be running our main Pokemon here, Umbreon GS, which we got three of. So my new point on this deck is hit and run. So we're going to be strafing a lot. We're not going to be using Shadow Bullet a lot, even though we'll be using it occasionally. But we already know Umbreon with the current meta cannot win a straight up fight. It'll take too much damage and get wrecked. So, we're going to be like how it is. Umbreon hides in the darkness and sneaks around, deals damage over a short period of time, and then takes knockouts. So, that's what we want to do here. And to help with that, we're going to be running two Hoopa. This is the Pokemon we want to strafe into. Now, the reason we want to strafe into Hoopa is because it's just like a Lola Ninetales. There's 80 damage, has the Scandal Guard, so it blocks EXs and GXs. So, let's say our opponent gets a GX out there, and we have our Umbreon out. We got energy on it already. We want to strafe into this Hoopa, so that we got this Hoopa to block all their attacks, and the only way they're going to get out of it is by guzma and that's it, really. They're going to have to waste the Guzma to get our Umbreon out, and that's if they want to. And if they don't, we could get our Hoopa out there attacking, or they're going to have to get something to get up. Now, I know there's Gallade and all that, but unless I'm running against Gardevoir, I should be fine. And also, I got Marshall to deal with, but I don't see that much of it. And with all the new Crimson Invasion stuff, the only thing I'm going to have to worry about right at this moment is Buzzwool, which has 170 HP, 180 HP, so it shouldn't be that bad. Next up, we have our Zora GX, which I have one of. We're going to be using this card for our consistency, uh, discarding drawing Pokemon. We want to get this deck consistent as possible, so then we can draw into our good stuff. But that's pretty much it for our Pokemon. Moving on. Our supporter. We are running four Sycamore, of course. Four N. Four, uh, not four, two Kukui. That'd be nuts if we had four Kukui, but two Gizma. And our one Acerola. Now, the Acerola could be either used for one or two things. We could pick up our Umbreon GX, move all the damage off it, or we could pick up our Hoopa. I preferably will pick up the Hoopa so then I wouldn't have to re-evolve my Umbreons. But if I could get some damage off, I would do it. But that's pretty much it for our supporters. We're not running that much. Next up, our items. I have four Crushing Hammer, four Nest Ball for consistency, get our Pokemon out fast, three Choice Band, three Field Blower, two Float Stone, one Enhanced Hammer, one Super Rod, and one Professor's Letter. And just so you guys know, with all the new stuff that Crimson Invasion came out with, Sylveon on GX with that red card is going to be heck of a freaking annoying, guys. It's going to be, oh my gosh, I'm going to love that card in Sylveon, guys. Sylveon's going to be so good. Ooh, man, I might even have to make a deck profile on that soon, because with the amount of stuff they came out with and uh, Silk for Crimson Invasion, all that disruption you got. Let me show you guys here. I got a place out of it, too. Um... Move all of this out of the way. That's basically all of our items, by the way, guys. I'm going to show you guys what I have here. As you can see, the Marshall's back in here. So you already know Topper Coco deck profile is going to be coming up soon. So you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, where is it? 
Yeah, look, uh, peaking red card. This is going to be brilliant in Sylveon. You're going to be able to disrupt your opponent so much with that card, it's not even funny. I'm going to love it. Yeah, I got a playset of that. I got, ooh. You know what I'm thinking right now? Sylveon Hunter. I mean, Sylveon Gengar. Gengar, every time they attach energy, they take two damage. If I three of these out, then boom. Uh, Sylveon with his disruption. Ooh, that's going to be fun, man. Because Team Rocket's handiwork is still standard, guys. So we still got that. And then on top of that, I got Team Flare Grunt, which is also still standard. And then on top of that, I got Enhanced Tamers, which is still standard. And I'm just going to... I can't, I'm not even going to go on with the madness, guys. I'm just going to continue this Umbreon deck profile. Sylveon's going to be so good. I'm about to make a deck of that right now. I have my Sylveon deck right in one of these Elite Trainer boxes, which is holding up my camera until I get my tripod, which you'll probably see me buy today. But, moving on. Two Alter of the Moon for Free Retreat, and two Parallel City. So, Parallel City is going to be basically the same thing. Uh, keep our bench, their bench space low and everything like that. Ultra the Moon is going to help us do our rotating with our Umbreon and our Hoopa. And then, last but not least, we are running our four double colors and ten Darkness Energy. Yep, that's pretty much it for the deck though. Uh, you guys can put down in the comments what new cards I could put into the Umbreon deck from Crimson Invasion. Because I'm still trying to figure out ways to implant these cards, man. Like, it's kind of rough. I got all these new cards that I haven't used yet. Like, they've been in my binder for a very long time. I just haven't figured out how I'm going to use them in any of my decks. So you guys can put down in the comments, like, what if you think will fit at Umbreon right now. Um, and other stuff like that. And without that, um... Uh, other than that, I'm going to be just showcasing you guys a live stream today on my uh, journey to go get Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and all my other stuff I'm going to be getting. Well, so without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace.